टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू सिमुलेट अ लैडर प्रोग्राम ऑन एंड्रॉइड मोबाइल सो फॉर दैट पर्पज यू हैव टू डाउनलोड द लैडर प्रोग्रामर फ्रॉम पी एल सी लैडर प्रोग्रामर फ्रॉम प्ले स्टोर देन ऑन द टैप मेन गो इन टू द हेल्प दिस विल शो यू द जी यू आई फॉर दिस ऐप If you want to add a rung, you have to simply click on the design area to add a rung. If you want to add a contact, then you have to click the contact and then click on any square where you want to add the contact, just like over here or here. If you want to add a coil or output, click on output and enter where you want to add the output. If you want to add a sub rung, then you have you need to mention the starting point and drag till to the end point, just like here they have shown over here. If uh, these are the some rules regarding the rungs, if you want to edit the object, double press on the object, double click on the object, then the uh, one pop up window will appear. In that you have to click yes, and you can change the name and whatever you want to do. you can edit this if you want to delete the object you have to press that object for 3 second then one pop up window will appear then you have to click on delete if you want to delete a rung same thing you have to press for 3 second then press delete over here so these are some basic things that are related to this one now we are going to see how to just execute the program and how to check the input output so by default they have shown one rung over here in which one input device is there and one output device is there the address for input is i0.0 and the address for output is o0.0 then click on play to check the simulation on the right hand side you can see red color and uh, just beside that you can see yellow color so red colors are your input buttons and yellow color shows your output so when i am going to press i0.0 you can observe that the output is energized the yellow color indication is glow so this is when you are going to press the input again the output is disable when you are going to press input output is enable so now we are going to add one more contact over there so i am going to add one nc contact over here then you have to just click input bit so this is my first contact so i have selected i0.1 and then add so now we have two buttons one is start button one is stop button so basically start or you know contact represent the start button nc contact represent the stop button over here so when you are going to press this one i have pressed the i i0.1 and i0.0 now in that case the output is not energized but when i am going to close nc contact the output is energized so you can see such type of simulation over here now i want to add a timer so i am going to add a on delay timer over here so just click on the timer on delay and press where you want to add so this on delay timer is going to be added over here first i am going to delete this contacts so for deleting the contact you have to hold it for 3 second delete again hold it for 3 second you are going to delete a timer timer is going to be added over here which timer so constant you need to mention the constant for the timer i will mention one this is my first timer preset value for how long you want to just what is the time period for which the timer is going to be enable or disable so i can say here it is the 10 second for 10 second i am going to just preset values 10 second then i have to add one bit or a done bit i am going to add a done bit so when now we are variable you have to select the timer variable t which first okay and instead of base you have to click on done bit so when the timer operation is over at that time output is going to be energized now to start the timer i am going to add one you know contact over here one switch over here so this is my i 0.0 okay now we are going to play this one so when 
I0.0 is press. You can see over here the timer start accumulating the time and after 10 seconds the output is going to be energized. You can see the output is energized after 10 seconds. Now again I am going to switch it on. So in the accumulator you can see the values are changing. And when the 10 seconds are over at that time the output is going to be energized. So this is how you can just simulate or you can just check your logic over here.